Image quality is an essential aspect of photography. Though many factors decide the image quality out of a camera, many have considered megapixels the most important of it all, and it is due to the marketing strategy adopted by camera manufacturers. The smartphone manufacturers always use the megapixel count to show how high quality their cameras are. But do megapixels really decide the image quality? In this video, we are going to explain to you the truth of megapixels and if they have any impact on image quality. So with that being said, let's jump in. To get a better understanding of the whole thing, we have to understand some basic terminology. Let's start with pixels. Your camera is basically a light capturing and processing device, and the light is captured through the camera sensor. But how does the sensor capture the light? Well, a sensor has numerous photocytes which collect light. Each of those photocytes is called a pixel. One megapixel means one million pixels. So if your camera has 24 megapixels, you have 24 million pixels or photocytes in your camera sensor. So you might be thinking that the more pixel, the better. Well, that is not always the case. Picture quality is largely dependent on how much light is being captured by your camera. The more the light, the better the image quality. Now how much light each photocyte or pixel can capture is decided by its pixel size. If a sensor has a larger pixel size, it can gather more light. Take an example of two cameras, both having a full frame sensor but with different megapixel counts. Say one has 12 megapixels and the other one has 36 megapixels. As the sensor size for both the cameras is the same, so the one with 36 megapixels will have a smaller pixel size. If the per pixel size is smaller for a camera, it will capture a comparatively lesser amount of light. So more megapixels would produce less sharp images, according to what we have discussed so far. But we have seen that smartphone with 50 or even 100 megapixels produce really high-end images. Now how is that possible? Stick to the end of the video to find it out. Let's first see what factors are there which decides the image quality. Let's start with a simple question. Does image quality only depend on megapixels? The answer is no. There are many other factors. First, the sensor size. If the sensor size is larger, the per pixel size would be larger too, which will allow more light into the camera and hence better looking images. Now the light has to pass through a lens before hitting the sensor. So the quality of the lens is equally important. Lenses are made of glass elements which are optimized to produce sharp images. So again, lens brands also matter. For example, Canon lenses have a good reputation in the market for producing sharper images. Then comes the ISO. Some cameras come with a lower base ISO. And the rule of thumb is, the lower the base ISO, the sharper the images. But again, some cameras come up with advanced ISO technology, like the Canon cameras have dual gain ISO, which enables the user of higher ISO numbers but with lesser noise. Besides, the photographer's expertise, lighting condition, and many other factors are there which have a direct impact on image quality. Megapixel does matter but has a different use case. There are two myths about the megapixel. One says, megapixel is everything of image quality, and the other one says, megapixel has nothing to do with image quality. Well, both of these notions are wrong. It is true that megapixel count is not equal to image quality. Rather, there are many other factors in that equation, which we have already discussed. But still, some smartphone brands communicate megapixel count in their ads in a way as if only higher megapixels were the only determinant of image quality, which is not entirely true. Now it doesn't mean that those higher megapixel smartphone cameras can't capture better looking images. They can, but there are limitations. 
So first, let's dig into how smartphones capture stunning looking photos despite having a smaller sensor and pixel size than a DSLR and mirrorless camera. Well, the image sensor size and pixel size don't really matter if there is enough light in the environment you are shooting. Even sometimes we can observe that the image quality we get from a smartphone camera is almost the same as a DSLR or a mirrorless camera when you are shooting outside on a bright sunny day. On top of that, the heavy computation ability of smartphone cameras makes the images stand out. But the difference really appears to be evident once there is a lesser amount of light. In those situations, smartphone cameras simply can't stand by the quality of what you will get from an APS-C or full-frame camera. And there's more. If you're looking for a breathtaking bouquet, those smartphone megapixels simply can't help you. It needs lenses that we use in DSLR or mirrorless cameras. On the other hand, some think more megapixels don't matter at all. Well, that's also not true. Higher megapixel cameras are widely used in print media. All the billboards and large banners we see have been captured and enlarged using those higher megapixels, which was otherwise not possible with a lower megapixel image. A higher megapixel is also useful when you are shooting landscape images as those images need to be as detailed as possible. Moreover, a higher megapixel is required when you want to crop in but still want to maintain the quality of the image. So that was all about the camera megapixel and its relation with image quality. It is clear that the megapixel is a small part of the larger equation of image quality. But higher megapixel does have its usability in print and advertising media and in many other ways. So what is your opinion on megapixels? Do you really need a high megapixel camera? Let us know in the comment section.